everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you are alright. A long time, no see. Well, it feels like a long time when I haven't filmed for, you know, a week or something like that. Welcome to February and February's beauty boxes. The first one that I have received is Betty Box. I actually did get December's Betty Box too, so I'm going to have a brief look at that as well after I do February's. Betty Box is a period subscription. It's aimed at younger girls, sort of up to 16, I'd guess. And it's the little sister of Pink Parcel, 12 99 a month. I do have a code that I can pop on screen if you are interested. But shall we get unboxing? Before we do that, it'd be awesome if you could give me a thumbs up. Don't forget, you can subscribe. Of course, you can share this video when we're done and ring that notification bell, because you never know when I'll upload. All right, let's get into the video. Pink Parcel, who run Betty Box, I think they're under the company It's A Monthly Thing. Their owner, director, boss, whatever, sent out an email this month to say that they're really sorry that it's been a bit crap the last few months. People have not been receiving their boxes on time. They've been receiving boxes with old items in. I don't mean like out of date, but I mean repeats and things like that. And it's just not been what we've come to expect from Pink Parcel at all. And um, People have been getting the wrong period products. Well, that's really annoying when you're counting on this box to bring you the period items you need. Pamphlets have been missing, all kinds of just kind of small things, but aggravating. So they sent an email from Dominic Hill, the founder. You may have noticed we've recently had a number of problems with our business impacting both the products we deliver and the quality of service we pride ourselves on. I've made some big mistakes in 2018 and as a business we lost sight of our vision and we lost sight of our friends, our subscribers and we tried to become something we weren't. And they decided that they wanted to grow the brand and grow the business and launch in Europe and America and give Birchbox and Glossy Box a run for their money. They had everything ready, um, but their main investor pulled out. Company was running out of cash. They had to get rid of some people. They'd asked for more investment and he had to dilute his shares down to almost nothing, which is not what you want to do as a business owner, just to keep it going. So they repackaged the business into IARTUK. Like it's a, it, I, I don't know what that means. It's a regular thing maybe. They've got a smaller team but now they're going to go back to getting more stuff from smaller businesses. They'd like to confirm and underline we're not a beauty box, we're much more than that, we're a period box and we don't want to be like others, we want to be us. Your February pink parcel might still be late but by March things should be getting better. So they basically want their subscribers to hang on and not quit on them yet. It's a jolly good thing I got that because when I looked in this box I was a bit like... <sighs> so... I'm glad that I've got some background to it because otherwise I would have been very peeved. I'll just show you this. These are some of the pads and I opted to get the Betty pads which are actually made by the company and rather than always or whatever. And these are a smaller size to fit bodies that are smaller basically. And they're also made out of recyclable or reused materials like bamboo and stuff. Stuff that's good for the environment anyway. Um, so I like to get these ones and I actually donate them because obviously I'm an adult. <laughs> I donate them to the uh, food bank. And of course, little bag that you get every month with some stuff in it. Shall we take a look at February's box? Oh, there's always something. So this is what we have. And this is why it's disappointing. This, I feel like we had this before in Betty Box, but if we didn't, we definitely had it in Pink Parcel. I'm just surprised they put this in, but I feel like this is more Betty Box aimed because it's quite young in the packaging. Words sort of tattooed, not tattooed on it, but like spray painted design on it. It's a pink tube of perfume in a cardboard box and it says a mood related scent captured in a clever little scent stick. Fab, rock that frock, work your girl power, sweet vanilla, mandarin and rich praline. Pra praline. Praline. <laughs> Fabulous and flamboyant. Own it. It's not tested on animals. It's made in the UK. It actually looks like a marker pen type thing. So the lid is a pink cap and then we've got this sort of purpley lilac tube and it's got things like BFF with a heart on it. Yay. Fab. Chill. Zap. Whoosh. All that kind of thing. So you can definitely see it's more aimed at the teen market. But it does smell quite nice and it literally looks like a marker pen. The nib is a marker pen, slightly yellow in colour, but it does smell really good actually. So I'm not off put by having this. It's totally appropriate for the box. For me it's a repeat, for other people it's probably not. It is quite a light 
sweet scent so if you're not into that kind of thing you might not like that one next up we have one of these little friends from kawaii it's a brush cleaner yeah as if we haven't seen this a million and one times in beauty boxes this is a purple brush cleanser it's one of these rubber ones that's like domed and kind of like if you raise the back of your hand domed and then flat on the other side but on the underside it's got ridges and bumps for you to rub your brush along as you clean it and it comes in this see-through at the front but holographic at the back packaging which is quite nice I don't really rate these to be honest as cleansers for my brushes but I can't use them either because it's too painful on my hands that is the second thing next up we have an eyeliner for Technic I do not rate getting Technic products I guess Technic kind of fits in more teen makeup category because it's cheaper and things but I just don't feel like Technic is a real brand I mean they are a brand and they do make stuff but I feel like their stuff is all play makeup how's anyone else feel about Technic am I being unfair maybe it's good I don't know but this is a Technic eyeliner and on the top the cool thing about it, it's got an inbuilt pencil sharpener and on the bottom it's got like a hard firm smudger so it's a black eyeliner pencil next we have the tea bag every box has a tea bag just like its big sister dr stewart's extraordinarily good teas and it's in skin purify it's a white bag with black printed writing and pink for the skin purify wording which is quite nice i like the design of the packaging doesn't say what flavor that's meant to be this tea bag is a beautifying herbal infusion which includes red clover nettle and dandelion leaves which are believed to be antibacterial all of these teas are blended by the world leading ethnobotanist Dr Malcolm Stewart who carefully selects specific blends to suit the tea's purpose. And just reading some reviews of this, somebody says it's amazing stuff for acne, clears acne, cleanses the liver, not too pricey, horrible taste but the tea worked in three days, I've had no breakouts since drinking it, my skin is so clear now. Some people suggest adding honey to it to make it taste better but it's actually got pretty good reviews for this tea, might even give this one a shot for myself. I probably need a few more bags so if you don't like it maybe add some honey or something else to sweeten it up but if you are suffering with spots and things maybe worth giving this a try especially since it's you know it's tea it's fairly natural it's not a chemical so actually something I'm impressed with from base box next up our thing to eat this from Montezuma I've had it before I like it definitely had it in a pink parcel it's milk chocolate minted with crunchy peppermint it's nice it's tasty and it's not too strong I like it this so this is from Polar this is their night cream revitalizing cream with boreal algae I had this in another beauty box around Christmas time I remember because it says something about the light of the moon activating it okay so created especially to help your skin regenerate while you catch some z's it's effectively a great night's sleep in a pot enriched with boreal algae a unique ingredient that reacts to the light of the moon it speeds up your skin cells natural regeneration process to plump and smooth the skin surface leaving it beautifully radiant upon waking it's quite expensive it's about 20 yes yeah, like 21.50 and it seems to be out of stock everywhere it's, you can't find it on the polar website out of stock at birch box out of stock at look fantastic so if you wanted some of this maybe this is the only way to get your pores on it so yeah i've had this before i haven't actually used my one of this yet but it's a nice thing you know that obviously is over the cost of our box in this little item last item something i'm always going to like a mask this is the cherry gel lip mask that's supposed to hydrate and moisturize probably give it a go on screen it just looks like this from korea what can you say mask hopefully it's nice right that is february's box quickly totted that up and that makes that box worth 38 pounds and 99 pence could be a little more depending where you get the technic liner from which is not too bad it's difficult when you get a lot of boxes of course you're going to see things more than other people so trying to see it from a point of view of a teen which is who it's aimed at my teen self would probably be quite happy with that because i wouldn't know about the difference between a Technic eyeliner and other ones would I what I'm really interested in is that tea bag because if you have spots you'll do anything to get rid of them and if that means having a not very nice cup of tea well might be worth a shot thanks for joining me for February's Betty box if you want to hang around and see what's in my other one stay Ta -da! okay this is more what I expect to see on our open box a bunch of leaflets oh there's a bag for you to place your unused tampons and pads and send them off in a prepaid postage bag to donate them to people in the UK who need pads. Maybe I'll do that with my pads this month, actually. A card that says about put it into the postage bag provided, but there isn't one. 
that isn't a good start, but it's kind of what we expected. Let's go into this, because this is a big thing. So, looks like this. I've never seen this before. BU, Soothe Period Cramps the Natural Way. Natural ingredients, fast acting, up to 12 hours relief. Pack of five patches, and from the image, you pop them on your stomach. They're a must if you suffer from period cramps. The 100% natural formula relaxes the muscles and provides continuous relief for up to 12 hours, helping you be you. You just put them on the lower area, lower back or lower abdomen. One to two patches to be applied in one day. How interesting. This I'm interested in. I wonder if it might help with any other pain as well. Never seen these in a pink parcel or a Betty Box before, so that's really cool. And it comes with two of these I've actually got. A bit confused, isn't it? Uh, just gives you some tips. It's not a heat patch. Most women describe it as a tingle or cooling sensation. They're a new company. Sign up for the monthly subscription. Get your first month completely free using the code free month. Just having a quick look on their website. It says that 47 of the 50 girls we gave the sample to loved it. They said they got a weird tingly feeling and then their cramp pain subsided for hours. And a girl who was hospitalised because of the severity of her pain at one point said she absolutely loved it and that patch genuinely helps make her period more bearable. She's regularly on prescription medicine and she loved this product. Wow, sounds amazing. I wonder if this would help me with my regular pain. This is the idea, it's a subscription, or you can try it as a one-off, $6.99 for a pack of five, or you can get a subscription, we'll ship you one pack every month, you can choose the date, and it's $4.99 a month for that. They will only cancel your subscription if you've had three or more months of supply. If you've had your first pack, we can still help cancel your subscription, but you will be charged for and sent to you more pack. So, if you want your free one, possibly you'll have to sign up for another three months of it. Although you think that a free one would be free so you can try it first? I don't know. Maybe you have to look into it because I can't see that question here. But it'd be interesting to see if these are any good. I'm definitely going to give them a try. I'm actually really excited because I've never heard of them before. Natural things are always a bonus. Let's see what else is in my box. Then we have this. But this is a mattifying cream. Oh, for impure acne prone skin. Skincare complex for oily skin mattifies the skin by regulating sebum production. Formulated with horse chestnut to soothe skin. It's got hyaluron that moisturises skin, non-greasy, fast absorbing. The pH 5.5 promotes the natural barrier function of the skin's acid mantle. 10 mil sample, so not very big. A little disappointing because I love mattifying things. I'm a very shiny person, as you can see. Look, look at me. But I'll be interested to try that tomorrow and see how my face looks afterwards. Next up, we have this from Scrub Love, Invigorating Coffee Body Scrub. I have had something from Scrub Love before, but not this one. It's Coconut Affair for normal to oily skin, antibacterial, deeply penetrating, instantly revitalizing, 100% natural. Hey babe, are you ready to get a little dirty? That's what the packet said, not me. It's got Robusta Coffee, which is nature's finest exfoliator, anti-inflammatory circulation booster, cellulite inhibitor and skin brightener. Coconut oil to hydrate, soften, nourish and repair. Baobab oil, a superfood full of omega oils and vitamin C. Baobab oil, more like. Coconut flakes, a sprinkling to exfoliate and smooth. Coconut milk powder, which is bursting with vitamin E and antioxidants. And coconut sugar to help leave your skin super sweet. I don't know why you'd want sweet skin though. Was somebody going to lick you? That's a bit weird. This is quite nice. So this is a 50 gram sample, which is what one body or two bodies wash. Not terrible. Definitely enough to give you a taste and see if you like it. Can you see that? It says Kooky Cat. What on earth is that? A gluten free organic vegan cookie with vanilla and dark chocolate chips. Ugh. Well, it might be nice. I'm, you know, I'm just not a fan of dark chocolate. How can anyone call that a cookie? Doesn't that look like a bird food biscuit, like a cork table mat? Seriously, this is supposed to be a cookie? Bring me on a crunch cream any day of the week. Okay, it's a little bit less dry out of the packaging. It's supposed to be cookie cat, not cookie cat, isn't it? I bet, like a play on words. It doesn't taste like a cookie at all. It tastes like what it is. Oat flakes, cashew nuts, Coconut blossom nectar and desiccated coconut. Yep, definitely. I don't like it. But I don't really tend to like that kind of thing. Mm -mm. I hate stuff that's pretending to be other stuff. Why are you tell me that you're a chocolate chip cookie when you're not a chocolate chip cookie? You're like a oatmeal biscuit thing. Not same. Not same. It's gluten free, vegan. 
taste better than a kiss? No, it doesn't. I don't know what kind of kisses they're having, but obviously not the good kind. So they're an authentic handcrafted, made with high quality ingredients and tons of love. A new take on the old fashioned cookies reinvented in mouthwatering, vegan, gluten free desserts. Ah, this is something I can always use. Although I'm pretty sure I had one of these from Loella. I'm sure we've had one. Maybe in Pink Parcel though. It's a brow brush, although, you know, you could use it for liner, you could use it for anything delicate, I guess. But I can never have too many brushes, so I'm not gonna turn my nose up at that. Oh, because it was Christmas, that would have been nice, wouldn't it? It's a little bauble that's got a flat bottom, so it can sit. So it's a clear bauble, kind of medium size, obviously plastic, not proper bauble, hanging from a pink tag, so you could hang it on a Christmas tree or wherever. And it's from Bubble Tea. It's hibiscus and acacia berry tea. This restoring shower gel uses a blend of goji berry extracts, tea notes, and essential oils, helping to deliver a nourishment to all skin types. Mmm, let's have a sniff. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, that's so good. I wonder if they do it, well, I'm sure they do it in normal size. And probably not in baubles, you know, it's not Christmas anymore. We needed a sweet fruity scent. The initial fragrance tone started with wild strawberry due to its restoring properties. In development, the addition of hibiscus and acacia berry tea complemented the wild strawberry very much and the final fragrance was created. Hibiscus tea holds properties that rejuvenates the skin as it's rich in vitamin C. Acacia berry helps to smooth... Sm acacia berry... It says acacia berry helps to smoothen fine lines. Doesn't it mean just to smooth fine lines? Smooth and fine lines? Anyway. And wrinkles formed when your skin loses elasticity. Wild strawberry helps to relieve insomnia. Ooh, didn't know that. It comes in a bath bomb fizzer, it comes in a restoring shower gel, it comes in a body lotion. All size products, only 2 99 for 200 mil. That's not bad at all, is it? 2 99 for 200 mil of this, 14 pounds maybe for 200 mil of this. Decisions. Last item is this. So this is a pink rectangular box about the length of my hand with is it silver embossed writing if you touch it and it's also got some patterning on the box that you can see in relief. It's kind of shiny I guess. It says English Laundry Signature Pour Femme on it. So I'm expecting it to be a perfume. It comes out and it is a cylinder with a silver lid with a pink, sort of peachy pink label on most of the bottle with the same silver embossed writing and the same pattern that was on the box. And it's a spray, so let's have a sniff. Ooh, I'm not sure if I like that. It reminds me of one of the things that I put down the toilet. It kind of smells like a toilet as well. Oh, it really has got an edge of wee. Oh. Right, I'm gonna spray it on the other hand just to make sure that it's not that hand or something. Not that my hand normally smells of wee or anything, but no, honestly, it has the smell of wee, of a urinal or a toilet. Like wee that's been sitting in there. You know, like toilet, no, kind of like, I guess urinals. I don't know why I say urinals like I'm always in urinals, but like toilets that just always stink of wee, even when they're clean. The local cinema to me, one of them, their toilets always stink of wee, even when they're brand fresh new. First thing in the morning, they stink of wee. Oh, I don't like that. There's some edge on that. And somebody else can tell me if they can smell it too. Do you know what? I'm just going to ask my husband. My love, could you sniff me, please? Yeah. Um, How often do you ask your partner to sniff you? Sniff my hand. When I smell it, I get a bit of wee. A wee? <laughs> oh, goodness me. That's what like, I smell it, and then like, it feels like there's a tiny tinge of wee at the end. When you like say wee, do you know I think it sounds like wee? Because it smells like those cubes they put in the toilet. That's what it is. I don't think it's wee. I think it's the... The, like a disinfectant kind of smell. So we both agree this reminds us of toilets and of toilet cleaner things and I still think it smells like, like nasty old wee toilets. So I'm not impressed with that. But there was nothing to drink this month which is unusual. I was looking for my tea bag but it there isn't anything. Overall if I've got this for Christmas I I'd be quite happy with all the items. I'm really interested in those period cramp things and I like the fact that it's a brand new thing that I've never heard of. That cookie thing, come on, it's Christmas. That's a time for us to indulge. Give us something good and bigger because that is not the full size one. Um, it would also have been nice to have a bigger version of the mattifying cream as well. Being that it's Christmas, you know, a few more full size items. It's just that perfume stinks. Horrible. Let's add it up. 
So that comes to a grand total of £34.97. It's not the worst I saw for Christmas at all, but I'm really excited to have that bubble bath and those period pads. So I like this one better than I like the current February box. Let's put it that way. What do you guys think? Would that have been a good Christmas box for you or not? Tell me all your thoughts down below. So that is it, my first beauty box of February. The only thing that might have been nice to see a bit of a Valentine's theme. Actually, no, I think it's appropriate it wasn't a Valentine's theme because I would have been sad maybe to be all on my own for Valentine's Day. We had this thing at school where you could put everything in a post box and people come around giving out Valentines throughout the day when you're in different classes and it's all the same people getting Valentines and not me. But yeah, so probably not good to encourage teenagers to be worrying about who they haven't got for Valentine's Day. There's enough pressure as a teen as it is. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope it was enjoyable and not too long and gave you a flavour of Betty Box at the moment. But as I mentioned at the beginning, it may be getting better and improving. We will have to wait and see. Let me know down below all your thoughts. And until I see you next time, I hope you take care of yourselves and find something positive in every day. Bye guys.